So here's the three choices of gearbox. You've got the planetary one, you've got the single motor one, and you've got this dual motor one right here. And as the name implies, it's got two motors. Now, these all have their advantages, um, but if you're an advanced builder, build this one. Build the planetary gearbox. It's better for the reasons that I'll explain now. This one, uh, this dual motor gearbox right here, as you can see, it has the first stage in here, second stage in here, and the third stage right at the back here. And the thing about this one is that it's it's all right. I'm using these Ghoul RC, probably 23T, 540 motors. They were about eight euros a piece. Uh, but the thing about this motor is that it's pretty easy to make, but it takes a lot of plastic and it's not very strong. This thing is easy easy to make, but it's not very strong. Uh, and you have to get the gear sizes down pretty well, just so you don't have too much friction between those. Now next is this blue one right here that's got a mount for a single 775 size motor. This is a 775 motor. This is a 540 size motor. Um, the advantage of this is if you use a low RPM one, you can get a decent amount of torque and a very high top speed because this thing only has one, two, two sections as opposed to this thing having three. Um, and as you can see, I can spin this shaft right here and it actually spins the large gear in there. Uh, so this thing does, you're not going to have too much torque, uh, but the top speed is going to be pretty good. So if you're going for speed, you might want to consider this. It's not a lot of work to build it. Uh, this pro it, it was a prototype. I really don't recommend anyone building this. It was, it was pretty bad. Now, last but not least, we got the planetary. It's got the most torque. It's not the fastest thing, but this is definitely what you want to build if you're an advanced builder. Um, I, re I really recommend this one. Um, as you can see, I've gone ahead and removed the screws on it. We can pop, we can pop the top off. I've got a few tips for building this gearbox specifically, because uh, it, it, you'll definitely need them. Uh, as you can see, even with this planet two-stage planetary gearbox with a uh, like one, one to two gear ratio in here, I can still back drive it just from over here with my finger. Um, as you can see, I've got some Vaseline in there, some grease. This gearbox uses a lot of bearings in here. So for every one of these gears, it uses two bearings on either, either side of the gear. As you can see right here at the end, uh, where I've got uh, the output shaft mounted, I've got a nail right here, as you might remember from the transfer case video. I've also got these brass uh, sort of extended nut uh, standoff things. I've gone ahead and drilled them out to the same size as the nail. So the nail just goes right through and the nail stays in there pretty good. It's pretty tight. Uh, now the reason you'd want to use a nail right here is because this thing is outputting a lot of torque and you don't want to break that. And with a three millimeter nice nail like this, you're, you're not going to break it. Something else is going to bust before this thing does. And so, uh, you really want to do that, especially for this later stage. You don't really need to do it for this second or the first stage of the planetary gearbox because it's not doing as much torque yet. But I would definitely recommend doing that over there as well. Also, yeah, you definitely don't want to break anything in this thing. I've made it super strong, all of these parts right here, all of the sections you can see. Um... It takes a while to make, but it's definitely worth it. I have never broken this since I made it. I made it about a year ago, and this thing has not broken once. Nothing in here has done anything except work for the past year. Although I haven't been driving much, but I've broken a lot of parts that aren't this thing. And I'm glad it's not this, because this thing is... Not too fun to take out of the truck, of course, you can try, but I would definitely make everything as strong as possible in here. 
um, like I've done with the design. I've made the design essentially bulletproof. In these sections right here, you cannot have anything go wrong if you build it like I have. And I don't think there's too many different ways to build it. So the only problem with this gearbox is this 1 to 2 reduction right here, 2 to 1 reduction. Um, sometimes this bigger gear might be slightly out of, it might not be aligned with the center of the axle. And that's why there's three uh, alignment screws on there. And you might have to turn them to make the gear not wobble. But that's essentially all the tuning you'll have to do to this thing. Now, am I going way overkill with the gears and the central bearing mount right here? Yes. This this thing right here is overkill for this truck. It's the perfect thing to represent the real truck, which has a really, really nice engine. It's a Tatra 930 made in-house by Tatra. And it's it's very powerful, just like this thing. So, you know, you might want to go with something like this, but I, I I really recommend this thing right here. I've actually just noticed, um, yeah, it's going to be pretty tough to drill and tap the ends of each of these. Um, but I, apparently I've gone ahead and done that. These are long, long M3 grub screws that I've got in there. Um, but you might not need those if you just press fit each of these axles onto uh, these, these plastic pieces right here. And this right here is the is arguably the most complicated thing inside the whole truck. So if you manage to make this thing and make it work, you're definitely an advanced level builder. So if you're just getting into 3D printing, don't make this thing. Make make something easier. Maybe make this. It's gonna be disappointing. Or make this. This one is a lot tougher than that. But but yeah, uh, this whole truck is definitely not for beginners. So. I shouldn't even really need to say that at this point. 